Hey Crypto Growth Fam, how's it going? This is your host Shahzeb signing in. We're back with another video guys. In this video we will be discussing Velo Labs. Big things are happening. It's going to be an interesting one guys so make sure to watch till the end. And folks for those of you who are new to the channel we primarily discuss utility coins and potential gems. If you're interested in any of that stuff then subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon for regular videos. And you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon so do check that out as well only if you're interested and folks you can also check out the official crypto growth partners for the exchange we've got mexc you can follow the link in the description box below below for rebates bonuses discounts and lowest fees do check it out and as far as the wallet is concerned you can check out decent uh, they've got their products you can check out their biometric wallet which has got an attractive $50 off and uh, you can also check out their biometric wallet 2x package guys which has got an astonishing $129 off only if you follow the link in the description box below a decent supports 3000 plus of your favorite coins and tokens and it supports 50 plus blockchain mainnets including stellar anyways let's see what's happening with official velo handles and uh, the community is there anything new look at this guys i've brought a really good good post for you over here from velo official november 4th look at this Gulf Energy Development is diving into the future by merging with InTouch Holdings, giving birth to a powerhouse across energy, digital business, and more. Their ventures include everything from traditional energy to digital assets like Binance, Thailand, and everything uh, in between, basically. So uh, look at this guys, uh, we've seen good projects, good organizations getting involved with blockchain, getting involved with, in the energy sector, getting invo in, involved with ev anything to do with innovation and uh, Gulf Energy Development is doing the same with a key focus on satellite telecommunications, data centers and cloud business. In partnership with Google Cloud, Gulf is making big moves in both traditional sectors and the digital world. Basically, it is trying to achieve the best of both worlds. Big things are happening in Thailand's digital finance space. Who is excited? Basically, uh, why, why is Velo posting, posting this is because uh, Velo has a strong foundation in Thailand, guys. And big things are happening in Thailand and it will ultimately benefit Velo Labs as well when the time is right. If they basically, if the team achieves what they want to achieve, it can be huge for them. Now let's see this uh, uh, article over here that they've posted. Calhoun by Calhoun International basically. Yeah, Gulf establishes new company to manage cloud business and service. Uh, this is, th uh, by the way, it is Technology Thailand. Uh, latest over here, 2024, 2609, almost latest. Gulf Energy Development has announced an establishment of Gulf Edge Services, a wholly owned indirect subsidiary to establish a clear direction and enhance flexibility in managing the cloud business under the company's group. Reference was made to Gulf Energy Development Public Company Limited, uh, Company Limited's notification to the Stock Exchange of Thailand dated June 25, 2024, regarding the execution of the partnership between Gulf Edge Company Limited, Gulf Edge, a wholly owned subsidiary of the company, and Google Asia Pacific Company Limited to operate Google Distributed Cloud air-gapped configuration for organizations in Thailand. So uh, basically, Thailand is opting for innovation, it is opting for creativity, and uh, as far as the digital sphere is concerned, look at this. As such, to establish a clear direction and enhance flexibility in managing the cloud business under the company's group on September 26, 2024, Gulf has established Gulf Ed Services. Okay, so we're interested in this. Gulf Ed's wholly owned subsidiary incorporated in Thailand with a registered capital of Thai Bath 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, ten million Thai baht. Gulf Ad Services has been established with the objective to manage the company's cloud business and provide related services to end customers in order to now this is the key point the key term in order to support the company's digital business expansion in the future so this is what we're concerned with when it comes to velo and uh, the the company if it plans to expand its uh, uh, horizons its wings in uh, thailand in terms of digital arena as well in terms of digital businesses as well in the future and velo as you know is trying to provide that uh, infrastructure that di digital infrastructure in thailand it obviously benefits it and uh, this is why velo official has also posted it because uh, obviously uh it, it they wouldn't have posted it if th this wouldn't have benefited them in some way shape or form in now or in the future look at this velo gulf energy bridging tradition and tech awesome let's see if it, if we can get any other post over here yeah we saw this one uh, Thailand is a crypto giant ranking 10th globally in the 2023 global cryptocurrency adoption index. It is home to over 13 million crypto users. That is 18.1% of the population. This is a huge number. It, uh, I told you guys if uh, only a certain percentage of uh, Thailand's uh, a population makes use of uh, digital assets and uh, and particularly velo uh, the value of velo can be huge and it can be awesome it's a sight to behold basically by 2028 it's going to be increasing by the way this number will hit 17.67 million with most investors being under 24 so the age group is also young and thailand leading in cryptocurrency adoption this southeast asia nation is paving the way for a digital future what does this mean for you are you ready for to ride the wave we are ready to ride the wave but we are just waiting for the right time hopefully let's see what the community has to say guys so a bit of technical from rafael arrigo velo hold that support and shoot Let's hope that uh, the 0 0.011 level, basically the one cent, is a crucial psychological zone. Let's hope that Velo remains above this level and ultimately breaks through in the short term. It breaks through this trend line over here and goes on forward to te test that two and a half cent level over here and beyond to test the three cent and level uh, the three cent level and beyond. It certainly has, has great potential. <coughs> pure rate 21 days later and price is right at weekly moving average 50 on my bar pattern chart okay look at this crucial 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 levels at the moment for the entire market uh, luke the deep deeper dive says the world economic forum estimates that uh, 867 trillion dollars of value is ready to be disrupted by tokenization i mean this is huge this is all according to an article written by chainlink we covered chainlink uh, you can watch that video as well guys chainlink is paving the way and at the moment it is one of the projects that uh, in in the utility uh, arena uh, it is really building momentum do check the, uh, check the video out uh, that I made a day or two back. Look at look at that. Chainlink is integrated with Velo Labs FCX. Velo Labs is working on tokenized gold, real estate, and stable coins, all of which are huge. In the photos, you can see the total stable coin supply and how it boomed. I think USDV uh, as a part of the Velo ecosystem can flourish in this growing market. Expect trillions in tokenized assets. And this is true. We're talking about trillions of dollars. Uh, the disruption of trillions of dollars. Look at this. Uh, just a moment. Yeah. 
This growth is not confined to financial markets either. A range of other industries are adopting tokenized assets, signaling an even larger tectonic shift in the global economy towards tokenization. Guys, this is a paradigm shift and a huge shift. We're not talking about hundreds of billions. This is three digit trillions over here. The World Economic Forum estimates that $867 trillion worth of value is ready to be disrupted by tokenization, which with use cases not limited solely to financial assets. One example is Vodafone's digital asset broker, DAB, which demonstrated a proof concept in 2023 with Sumitomo Corporation, Chainlink Labs, and Innovave centered around tokenizing trade documents to help address long-standing challenges in the $30 plus trillion global trade ecosystem. When World Economic Forum says something, despite the controversy surrounding it and the people uh, having different views, it is a financial giant, giant, whether someone likes it or not. And their say in the traditional system remains in, uh, intact, guys. And them saying that uh, tokenization has the uh, potential to disrupt $867 trillion. I mean, this is huge. We were thinking about $16 trillion by 2030, but... Now this is in this is an insane number to be honest. If Velo can get a small percentage of it, it can be huge. Look at this. The, now we're talking about Velo. I think over here, tokenization extends to commodities, transforming physical physical go, goods like gold, silver, oil, or agricultural products into digital tokens that represent ownership or a claim on the underlying asset. The integration of real-time data feeds with tokenized commodities ensures transparency and traceability, crucial for verifying the authenticity and provenance of these assets. This is true. Uh, every the, the the reason for tokenization is to lower the bar barriers and increase transparency and traceability, and uh, give uh, the rent the 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 middle of man the. Uh, the small guy basically for, to invest in these scarce resources, the scarce commodities, physical goods like gold, silver, and others. This is great. Redeemable. I think, yeah, this is not about Velo. This is a chain link article over here because uh, it, here we have chain links redeemable for one fine tri ounce of gold and supported by chain link price feeds. Pex gold tokens by Pexos are an example of precious metals being tokenized and represented on chain. And in terms of Velo, we've got uh, the partnership that they have ongoing they they have with solana to tokenize gold and uh, they're collaborating with the uh, uh, laos as well the government of laos so this is great they're trying to tokenize gold as well the real estate market is one of the largest markets in the world compared to other assets real estate is highly illiquid and involves many intermediaries and tokenization can be a life, a life changer and a game changer for real estate. Because guys, to be honest, people are now, uh, are, do not find really good avenues to uh, invest in real estate. If someone is living, for instance, in Brazil and they want to buy something in Japan, in the market of Japan, or if someone is living in Dubai and uh, he or she want to buy something in the United States, uh, a real estate in the United States, it is a huge hassle. Tokenization solves this and it being a uh, hundreds and trillions of dollars of uh, a market, it is it can be huge for these projects. Okay, I mean, this is great. Tokenization is here to change the game, that's for sure. And projects such as Chainlink and uh, Velo, in my opinion, they can be uh, huge in the future if they achieve what the, what they want to achieve anyways what do you guys think about velo and uh, do you think that big things are indeed coming for the velo ecosystem in the future i would really like your opinions do hit the comment box below and let the community know anyways guys this was it for the video if you liked it make sure to like share comment subscribe and hit the notification icon if you're interested in utility coins and potential gems and you can also support the channel by becoming a patreon so do check that out like i always say in the end until next time stay blessed and stay tuned Thank you very much, everyone.